and I will not waste any more of your time. Here is Dr. DeNoble. Yeah, we're going to be walking through uh, the research I did back in the 1980s, from 1980 to 1984. We're going to be uh, showing people how rats will get addicted to nicotine. We'll talk about why that happens and what the company was trying to do back then. What they tried to do was remove some of the health problems with smoking. And, uh, and what happened to us? Why the company ended up closing us down and we were silenced with the secrecy agreement. And we were eventually released from that secrecy agreement uh, at a congressional hearing. And we testified before Congress. We know the health hazards. That's not the issue. But what I don't think young people realize is that nicotine is a drug that changes the way your brain functions. Um, the tobacco industry has everybody convinced it's a habit. It's a, a, a dirty habit. It's not a habit at all. It's actually a chemical change in your brain. And when young people get that information, it helps them make a better decision. They think that this is something they can start and stop. They don't start and stop heroin. They don't start and stop cocaine or methamphetamine. It's no different. Um, I talk to 350,000 uh, elementary and middle school kids every year, and we actually have conducted studies now that my program is effective in reducing youth smoking rates, especially among elementary and middle school kids. Um, and it's important. And it again, it's their decision. My job is not to tell them what to do. I don't tell them don't and shouldn't. That's not my job. My job is to give them information so they can make a better decision, scientific information.